All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Seat Story Cup number four. My name is Busty. I'm going to be casting the last series of the day for you. It's going to be Gara and uh, Xixa playing up against each other. And uh, I'm actually alone for this one. Sadly, nobody wanted to play with me, uh, or cast with me, rather. All the other casters are, like, super tired or, uh, yeah, playing poker or whatever. Like, they really don't want to play. So, uh, yeah, I am, like, super tired, but, uh, yeah, definitely going to cast for you guys. It's going to be fun. Uh, the two Germans. Let's see, you can uh, move on. And, uh, okay, I can't hear myself, production. Is that normal? Is it supposed to be like that? Okay, apparently it is. All right, so I'm just going to, like, read chat, I guess, since uh, I'm alone here. So if you have anything to say, just go for it. And I'll just read what you guys have to say. <sighs> Who do you think is going to win this one? All right. So I don't know if they've actually like, jumped into the match, but like, okay, they haven't. But we'll uh, jump behind them or jump into the match right behind them. Any second. Let me just readjust my headset. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to help. doesn't matter. My hair looks like shit. <laughs> that happens. Gar's going to win. You think so? Dude, this is like bad. Oh, whatever. 1K people, best chat. Dude, like three three people saying Gara. Rooting for Navi, says Punk Brewster. Okay, so that means six, though. So. Oh, okay, they're actually in the game. Okay, so we can join now. Watch some RNG stone. Go ask Elki to cast, he'll do it. No, he already left. I know that Elki would cast. Like, he's awesome, man. All right. So we are in the game, ladies and gents. Looking forward to this one, actually. I mean, it's a really good match. Too bad it's the last one of the day. So uh, Zelay already advanced from this group. Alish is already out. And then it's, uh, yeah, Gar and Xixo facing off here for the last one. Both playing pretty fast. And we have a Shaman Mirror here, actually. That's pretty sick. Kazan Mystic Tekton for Gar. For real. Okay. Did not expect this one. Kind of an awkward turn for him, though. The best caster is the chair. Yeah, I guess, guys. Ask Rack full of cast? No. He doesn't want to. Not right now, at least. Like, he casts a lot today, actually. Coining the owl here. Interesting play. Instant shredder play. I like how they're just, like, playing fast. Since they just want to, like, get this over with, more or less. <laughs> it is late. It's last game of the day on the uh, B stream, actually. Oh, God. The admin getting me a Red Bull. It's really good. No more JJ casting feels bad, man. I asked him, dude. He didn't want to. But JJ is awesome, man. Oh, wow. Well, damn. Getting the mill house from the shredder. Dude, you do not want to hex that. that was a mistake. Feels bad, man. My bet is on the shaman, says someone. This is actually going to give like a tempo edge to uh, Xixo. It's going to rock biter to take out that flame tongue. Probably going to see a belcher from Gara. He's down one hex that he like could have desperately needed, right? Like imagine like the average two drop out of that shredder that he could have just like cleared with his totem, but he had to use his hex. So that means he has like no answer for the fire rally in the hand of Xixo. Like that's pretty. That's pretty big, actually. So he has two flame tongues. He could utilize those actually. It looks like he's gonna. One flame tongue. Two flame tongues. Alright. That's a pretty scary board for Xixo right now. There's a fire alley off the top. That's a little bit of consolation. I mean, it's not going to do too much, but I guess he's actually thinking about this. He's like, huh, do I take out the uh, Nerubian? Or do I take out, like, a normal totem? And I think it's a fun thing to think about here, actually. It's pretty important. So I think you actually take out the Nerubian here. I think it's uh, a little better, right? Just a little. I mean, even considering that there's a Fire Ellie in the hand of Xixo, I think that uh, you kind of provoke the trade with one of the totems. Well, I guess at the end of the day, it just kind of uh, is the same thing. 
We'll see what he what he does. Mm. Mainstream had Milhouse out of Shredder Tube. No way, Medic Prof, for real. <laughs> Breaked, yeah. And Gar is actually like, you can see him. Like, he's thinking hard about this one. Thinking hard. And he is going to take out the Nerubian. 6 out drawing the Azure Drake. And that's actually pretty big for the next turn since he can combo that perfectly with like a spell power uh, Lightning Storm. There's the Fire Ellie. Pretty good trade. And Gar is like, God damn, it feels bad, man. Need some sort of comeback mechanic. Just going to spam stuff on the board. Hope to stay alive. But he is probably just going to get stormed here. Perfectly on curve. He plays a power mace as well in this deck. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's the instant lightning storm. And that should probably be it. For this board, for now. All right. And, uh, yeah, Gar just concedes. He knows this is over. And there's a little bit BM from 6-0. So, yeah, 1-0 to 6-0 here. Get good. First game. Yeah, this is the first game of the series. It's 1-0 to 6-0 in this best of five last year of standing. So, uh, God, I need to get, like, used to that again, that 6-0 uh, can, like, like is going to keep his Shaman right now. And uh, we can jump into the next game, guys, as we will see the Paladin for Gar this time around. Uh, not on the coin, though. 6 with his Shaman still. I don't know what kind of uh, Paladin Gar plays, although it does look like a secret Paladin pretty hard. He's going to play the Avenge here, I guess, right? I mean, he does have a Juggler and the Muster for Battle, so there is going to get value. He's going to get value out of this, so I guess you play it here, yeah. Repentance just gets hard countered by any, like, Egg or, like, Haunted Creeper. All right. He's going to coin. Totem Golem or Egg? <laughs> He's thinking about this. Up and down sides for both of them. All right. I like the egg here. It's a good choice. It's actually going to make Gar think twice about this turn. Do you play the Yagler? Or do you just hero power? Poor lone caster. Yeah, Travis. Thank you, though, man. I have you guys, right? So that's good. This goes with a Noble Sack and a Repentance. It's actually helping. That's good. All right, there's a the Muster. It's going to take out this uh, Totem Golem. That got pretty hard, ca hard countered by the Repentance. That's actually pretty good Repentance onto that because this turn you can only Totem. So Tempo Swing pretty high here, or pretty big rather, for uh, Gara. Could go ahead and just uh, play Nut Juggler Minibot. I mean, he has... Oh, he's going to Hero Power instead. Okay, interesting. I mean, you'd have a protected... Uh, oh, that's the worst hit. You have a protected... Uh, Nut Juggler, right? Just because of that Noble Sack. So even if there is something bad, like a... Buff for the Egg to come out here. Like, it's still okay. He's going to Rock Biter it. Run into the Noble Sack. Just pretend JJ's still casting with you. I actually never cast together with JJ, man. I need to do that at some point. All right, so he could go, like, Spirit Wolves here. I mean, okay, he's going to go for the Totemic. Wow, and another Totem Golem. Jesus Christ. Gar's not going to be happy about that one. A lot of RNG on this side of 6 -0 there. Just thinking about how he wants to trade this, if he does want to keep something alive, and if yes, which one. He might actually think about like trading away all of his dudes just because of like for getting a better redemption and for uh, actually playing around Lightning Storm a little bit as well. I mean, of course, your opponent doesn't have it. Otherwise, he would have played it earlier. Okay, I can see this. Yeah, it's okay. There's no direct removal. All right, so that's a pretty decent uh, redemption, right? Gonna proc. Put 
and the immediate hex afterwards. And <laughs> another totem golem. So many totem golems, man. Garb is just like s telling the well played. Competitive Spirit's actually not the worst pick. I mean, that's a big juggle. Saving one of his minions, and he should trade his fourth through here unless he's like super greedy. Uh, Or is he gonna? Oh, he's just gonna go full face. Okay, so he's like, no lightning storm, please. And X6 is not getting that. He does have the Feral Spirits, though, so I guess Feral Spirits Hero Power is like the play if you want to like combat the board. You're still giving your opponent a lot of like decent trades. That true shaman, yeah. All right, taking out the frog. Poor froggy. That's a pretty good competitive spirit considering this board. Consecrate's basically the game here if he does draw. He gets a shredder. That's pretty sick as well. It's a good juggle. And I hope to hit another one. Uh, that's not so good. He's thinking about this, and he's deciding to smork it out. Yeah, killing off the uh, totem, though, just in case of some sort of spell power shenanigans. But this shouldn't change anything about the game. And that's going to be the second game here uh, of the series. Going to Gara, so a very good uh, start for this. Oh, unless the, the Shredder pop. We forgot about that one. If it does spawn the Doomsayer, everything is different. But it doesn't, and that makes this... The first win for Gara of the series. That's going to be a quick 1-1. One -one. So a pretty pretty uh, quick turnaround there, there. Gara will stick to his Paladin. That overload. <laughs> See you on casting solo? Yeah, I'm casting solo, buddy. But it's fine, man. It's fine. I'm used to it, right? Plus, like, this day was stressful. So I guess, like, hanging in a chair, a beautiful need for seat chair... Like, casting some games. That's always good. Plus, these guys are, like, playing fast, and they're both uh, pretty good, pretty cool people, right? So, it's actually sad that one of these is, like, going to fall out of the tournament because of this. Like, I'm actually really sad that's going to happen. All right. So, we do see the Paladin again for Gar, of course, and the Freeze Mage, it seems, here from Sixo. Not something I see him play a lot. I mean... It's not something you would expect from him directly. Frostbolt's this uh, secret keeper immediately. Let the pain speak to me. No good way of clearing that. Redemption coming out, though, to buff the secret keeper. And just in case it dies, or anything else dies... He will get some more draws off of that. Has Ryzen played yet? Nope, he'll play tomorrow. Why are they playing so fast? Because it's late and they want to, uh, yeah, I guess go to bed, right? Can I roll need? Yes, you can. He'll draw two cards, but get your board removed and take uh, six damage in one turn. It's pretty big. And the hand of Gar is, uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty dreamy, man. I mean, he does have the Mysterious Challenger next turn if he does want to play it. He's thinking about coining the Noble Sack, but I don't think you want to. I mean, you're obviously playing a Freeze Mage, so keeping Lothar for the right situation is pretty key. And, uh, like, not playing the Noble Sack doesn't kill you next turn, right? I mean, you do have the Mysterious Challenger up anyways, so all it really does is keep, like, an extra card in hand. Yeah, and he realizes that as well, sticking with this card in hand. Yeah. This uh, matchup, pretty hard to win, though, for the Secret Paladin. So basically, I cast this matchup with Gara at Worlds uh, in German together, and he was like, yeah, you know, to lose this matchup as the Freeze Mage, you actually have to do a lot of things wrong. I remember, I don't know who the matchup was, but, like, the Freeze Mage misplayed horribly, like, let's say, like, 15 times or something, and he still won, just because the matchup is so one-sided. Oh, I was actually considering Lothop over the Mysterious Challenger here. That's a pretty big uh, decision to make there. Oh, I see you. Interesting. Very interesting. And now he coins the secret. All right. Pushing the damages. He must have his reasons. All right, so looking in the hand of uh, Sixo, we do see two secrets, right? Yeah, two secrets. And he's gonna spawn the third one. Which one's it gonna be? The Ice Block. Get down. And Thor sounds a pretty sick draw on this board though. You do not want to see that off the top as Gara. Uh, Shredder off the top. Probably going to play Mysterious Challenger, though. I mean, it's it's glowing green, right? Like, how do you not play that? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. That sounded like a freaking Malfurion cosplay. It's like, hmm. None of your business in the... Doesn't get the full hat, though. Yeah, considering how he wants to trade this, he is going to trade it. <laughs> There's no way that he's not trading this. Like, in any world. At all. I must move quickly. What's it going to be? And he is trading Lothab after all. He's like, yeah, you know what? I don't care about Flame Strike. Back to 6 0. It is. You can't trade here? No way. Oh, yeah, you can. You should. Do you need to kill the Emperor or try and rush the block pop uh i think like i don't know like maybe it's like maybe i'm biased but like i think you should definitely pop uh sorry not the block you, you should definitely pop the uh the uh thorson like for sure you need to kill him off wow the top deck that could actually help gara jesus because those boom bots are gonna pull in some serious damage and there are no doom series to be seen like we're gonna see a frost nova here for sure but even then, like, he hasn't dealt any damage. And there's, like, no Alex to be seen. Both players banned Warrior. Yeah. Don't really want to play against that. Probably just don't want to play that long. Wow, and he actually is, like, prepping a Flame Strike, it seems. And Gar's like, all right, I guess I'll just play Tyrion. By the light. Oh, and there's Alex. That's such an important draw at this point. And he's just going to play it, man. He is just going to play it. And he doesn't have enough. Actually, he does have enough burst. Because next turn, he can just. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous. That's like the draw to win in the game. Because he does have Thalnos. And with double fireball ping, that is exact lethal. Right? I think it's exactly whole, because he's obviously not dying this turn, is Xixo. Next turn he plays Thalnos, double fireball, that's eight mana for fourteen damage, and then you just ping behind that for perfect lethal with this top deck. That's pretty sick for Xixo. Like no chance Gar wins this game if Xixo sees this, which he will. So uh, yeah, pretty brutal right there. All the Gar fans will be Bible thumping about that one, but Xixo is gonna move on here to uh, take the series two one. Um as I said he is favored, but I mean there was a small chance with these really sick draws on curve here for Gara. But uh, you know how it goes. I mean, it is Hearthstone after all. He's actually trading Boom here just uh, for more bombs to be dead. But Gar probably knows that this is it. Are they playing in the basement? Nope, they are playing in the Beast Studio. I'm actually sitting very close to them, <laughs> like on the other side of the room. But they can't hear me. Since it is a pretty large room and they have soundproof headsets. Gar's a nice guy. Look, Sixo always reminds me of an American Psycho. No, uh, Sixo's actually really cool. He's a nice guy. And he's also uh, going to take this series. No, sorry, this this match. Wow. Yeah, two to one. It is for him. Look at me. I'm all like chilling here. It's like, like tea time. <laughs> A Chadavan says someone nice. Damn, so many Bible thumbs for the Gara fans, man. Sorry, guys. But he's not out yet, dude. He's not out yet. He still has one more match uh, to come back, right? Like, he needs to win with his Hunter now. He can't drop another match. So he does have it here versus the Freeze Mage. Feels like that is the matchup that he can win. Does have a pretty decent start with the Leopard now, but nothing really good on turn two. He wants a Scientist here. Coin pin coming out. Double Doomsayer in hand for Sixo. That's actually not too horrible. That pose was fabulous as fuck. Yes, it was. My thanks, bro. Go take some beer. I will, man. I will. Thanks for watching, by the way, guys. Hope you're enjoying today. Solo cast. Bible thumb. Uh, yeah, Gara's not happy about not having a two drop there. The only condolence for Gara versus like a Doomsayer at some point. Wow, that's so annoying. That's gonna get Glaive Zuka, pretty sure. Oh wow, he's still playing the Animal Companion. Oh, and he gets tougher. That's pretty big. 
That's like perfect, actually. Just because of the damage is. Arcane Intellect's pretty perfect as well for Xixa, though. Draws Alex. That's the key card in this matchup. Scientist is really good as well. Scientist. He's going to play that with his hero power, probably, just to maximize damage. Followed up by a Glaive Zuka Animal Companion next turn. Loss. Do you want to cast a show, a show match against Froda? No, I don't think he wants to play me. He just wrecked me. <laughs> Alrighty. Ping the scientist. Doesn't want that to trade, apparently. Picks up another Glaive Zuka. That's not what he wants. But he can push the face for six this turn. It's pretty big. Um, yeah, like, for the sake of having one more game, let's root for Gar. I, like, I don't I guess, right? I mean, I feel like there's never really three twos unless there's, like, control decks involved. Like, only control decks that take, like, a horribly long series. I feel like that last year, like, last year standing always pushes it to, like, 3-1 if that's the case with, like, normal decks. All right. The game plan for the hunter is clear. Full on smork, boys. Tank up, <laughs> resident sleeper. Yeah, we're not going to be seeing that this game because or this series because both warriors actually got banned. Remember, guys, it's last year's standing. Best of five in the groups, and you have one ban, so four decks submitted by the players. But they obviously only play with three. Both players opting to kick the warrior of the opponent. What do you think of the overlay, by the way, guys? I know there's, like, less people here, so I can actually, like, talk to you. Because, like, on the mainstream, people were hating on it, like, starting off today. Like, I don't understand, man. They were so cool. What to do? What to do? All right. Taking a long time here. It's 6-0. And he should. I mean, Freeze Mage is, like, a really thought-intense uh, match, I guess. I like that he suicides the science scientist first before he pings the opponent's scientist. Oh, he's not going to do it? Oh, he is going to do it. Okay. Just buying some more time. All right. So, I guess this turn you kind of... Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Um... That's a pretty deep, big draw right there, guys. Um, I Just because of this, I want him to kill command. Okay, thanks for the feedback on the overlay, guys. Oh, man. Actually, which secret is laying there? I didn't show you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the ice block. Okay. So... That's just going to be game, then. <laughs> and uh, Gara is going to be taking this series. With the flare. Look at Sixo's face. He's like, no. And uh, there it is. So that's 2-2 two -two between these two. So we are going to be seeing a 3-2. Never mind. Whenever I say, like, the word series, I mean game. I'm sorry, guys. It's late. Who's casting? My name's Busty, dude. I work at Take TV. I'll host the event. Or co-host, I guess. Two, two, not the series. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I misspoke. It's late. Sorry. Accept my apology. Let's jump into the last game, though. This is for sure the last game between Sixo and Gara. Exciting series. A very fast 2-2. Two, two. And uh, we're, it's going to be 3-2, but for which side? That is the question. We do see the aggro druid, it seems, here from Xixo. And uh, this matchup can actually go both ways. It obviously depends on the drops. We do see a pretty decent hand for Xixo, though, and the coin. So he should be able to excel in terms of tempo really hard. But there is a lot of, like, stickiness with those haunted creepers on board. But this is a pretty busy board right now. Why not casting mainstream story as for Home Story Cup? I don't understand that question. Am I from Hamburg? Yes, I am. Another night on the 
Did everyone just abandon you, mate? Can you do impressions? Kill cast yourself? Uh, I'm like really not that good with impressions, but I, I guess I could. Like, wait, what, what's like a good impression? Uh, no, no, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm bad. I'm bad with impressions. The only person I can like semi do is Savit. All right, juggles coming out. But we do see a pretty key card in this matchup. Oh, wow, this could, this could be really huge. Oh, that's the worst juggle in the end. So he can't swipe this turn, but next turn is going to be insane. So depending on how Xixo plays this, it's like super obvious that there's a swipe out. So like if he like plays it obvious, then uh, we're just going to see a Haunted Creeper hero power. Hmm, okay. It seems like he just wants to clean the board and then... Okay, so this is like the semi-obvious play. So he might end up like getting an animal companion with a swipe with an abusive sergeant. That'd be pretty big for Sixo. It's going to be a load of damage as well for Gara. Eloise, I... Uh, why do I sound some, uh, American? I grew up in the States, bro. Uh, no, the mainstream isn't just like cast by players. It's cast by like people who are like here, like casters and like, you know, there's just people here that people know. And me. <laughs> Are the players allowed uh, to use the expansion in some hours? They're actually allowed to use the expansion from Saturday onwards. So the round of 16, they submitted two waves of decks, and they'll be using them from that point onwards. Sciences is a pretty good draw here. More damage to the face. He's debating whether to hero power to use the scientist. You have to use the scientist, though. Like, there's no way that's dying next turn, right? Actually, maybe. If he decides to force a nature, he might feel forced to, just because, like, he's already at 12 HP. They're allowed to use an axe. Yes, they are. Savit's impression or Rita. Dude, I'm like, I have like a cold, man. <laughs> All right, what's the shredder gonna drop? Mad <laughs> Pagel. Ouch. All right, so yeah, Xixo needs to get this over with fast because he doesn't have like insane amounts of burst. What's that trap? A snake trap, wow. Okay, what's he gonna get off of this quick shot? Arcane Golem, are you kidding me? Oh man, it's looking really good for Gar. I actually don't know. Actually, is it an Innervate game? An Innervate's game! If he draws an Innervate. Oh, actually, no, wow. I'm stupid. That juggle. Alright. That's gonna be the series. Gar's gonna take it. 3 2 over 6 0. Do I ever stream Salad Dorito? Yeah, on like the HS channel. I'm not good though, like at all. All right. So that's gonna be it for today, actually. Um, you want to join me? So Agara can like, uh, can we have, can we have, like the second headset works, right? Production. Okay. Nice. For me? Let's do Venus interview. No, because you're casting alone. No, it's fine. You guys you guys made it interesting. Like you you it was fast, right? It was that was like one of the fastest three twos I've ever like cast, so I I wanted to give a big shout out to like um, Savar and Strife and also like Pastabolicals. It's like those people always watch my stream and I saw that they're like watching all the time when I'm playing and that's very awesome. Yeah, that I actually always only see them in my stream whenever you're on it as well. So I actually so cool. know those guys' names. They're like the hardcore Gara them. fans. Yeah, I love them so much. Do you have like a name for your fans? Gara Boys. Gara Boys? Nice. Gara Boys is too good. Yeah, Gara especially Boys. as you know as well. This close? Yeah, it was super fucking close. It was pretty close, man. Dude, that <laughs> flare, though. Yeah. You uh, hate secrets, man. Yeah, like, I fucking tech, hate though. secrets. Like, I have Kazans. I have them flares. I'm not going to lose to that shit. <laughs> and I, I was like, yeah. It's like, I kind of like Sixer. Really, you know? Mm -hmm. I kind of like him. And then uh, we kind of both wanted to move on. And I think we could have done it, but then I lost to Zelaya, I got wrecked. Um, yeah. What is there to say? 
You should ask me questions. You're like the host. Like, I'm just talking Dude, you just here. started your monologue, bro. I'm like, hey. What is this winter Winners interview? <laughs> it's like the worst Winners interview ever. I'm Winners just talking. monologue, dude. No, so, so like... Uh, are we done for today? We're done for today. This okay. is like it. Um, so I can just talk stuff. Yeah, we can just talk shit. Like, I'm fine. Can so like... Uh, wait, so you, you're you playing on Saturday the next time. Fuck yeah. We're out of, they're out of 16. Uh, yeah, obviously we don't know against who yet. So like... Sixo said that he was like one of the favorites for the tournament. Cool story, bro. Um, okay, hey, but Ekop, he's out. Hey, the best. You, it's the Jinx curse. Ekop, yesterday when we played Overwatch, he's like, "I'm gonna win this tournament," and he he just got O2'd or two. Oh sixth. Oh six. He didn't want. He didn't get a single. He map? didn't want a game, and he said, "I'm he gonna win this." RDU? He's like, "I win this tournament, bros, broskies," and then he got dragged. Wait, Six is the favorite. I'm the favorite. Fuck that. Dude, Eka pulled a, pulled an RDU. That's that's damn. I'm gonna win this, and then I'm gonna win DreamHack, and then I'm gonna win WCA. Nice. That's I like the spirit though, man. That's good. Uh, it's like um, a triple. People heard it here first. My virgin ears can't take this profanity. Yeah, sorry for swearing, guys. This is like seat story cup B stream. That's, that's <laughs> how I. That's how I am. Yeah, it's like come on. Yeah. It's only adults watching. That's what I say always. Yeah. Always, of course. Virgin ears. Dude, we, we should cast on the mainstream tomorrow. We should. Yeah, we should. Like, we, we need to. I have to cast with Rekful. I was too tired today and too hungry. But I Rekful wants to cast with me, and I'm going to cast him. And I'm going to flame him a little bit. Just a little bit. For what? What but, did you do? But he got, he got better. Like, he tried really hard to be nice and s explain the place. Did you hear him casting? Yeah. It he was, like, so not him. <laughs> he, he upgraded to a rank 18 caster. <laughs> it's like, oh, that swipe. That kills minions with 1 HP. Yeah. Sick. And he he w he w he was nice. I mean, he looks like a hobo. You know, th like there's something with Temper Storm. I don't know. Like Kaldi is super sick. He's like he's in the hospital. Yeah, but li uh, like super sick in the sense that he's like actually sick. Yeah. Like ill. Like super sick. ill. He has fear. Like he has he has the flu. Yeah. And sucks. and and Eloise stuff got stolen. Like she got <laughs> robbed, literally robbed. And when she arrived, and Frodo was with her, someone did the oldest trick ever and said, "Look there." And then he took her stuff and went away. And Rackful stuff got also, like, lost in the yeah, transfer. Yeah, like, his, his baggage just didn't come with a flight. But he'll still get it. And it Reynard couldn't come because some shit went down. So, like, the Temple Storm... I have to, like, keep up the spirit, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. It's like I'm Temple having fun. Gamaz, man. Eloise is out as well, right? Of the tournament? Yeah, if I would have dropped out, what is this? It's like a clown fiesta, so I have to keep it up. Yeah, Frodan's playing tomorrow, though. Oh, tomorrow. so it's Rekful. Well, tomorrow will be fun because I don't have to play. Look, I'm always like, always in this mood. Oh, I have to play soon, I have to play soon. Uh -huh. But my casting will be pretty enjoyable because I don't have to play. It's pretty chill, pretty cool. You're going to cast. Yeah, for sure. Those people will watch. And... Oh, dude, by the way, like, I actually thought about this. Like, the group with Elki, Oskaka, uh, Rekful. Oh, another Rikt. You know, last last seed story, I was also with Sixo in the group. Really? And almost the same crap happened. Like, oh, uh, I, I'm not supposed to say that uh, C word, uh, profanity and stuff. Um, really? You're apologizing for crap? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I won against Sixo. It was also with Strife Crew. I always have those groups of devs. I was with Strife Crew. Strife Crew went last in group. And I won against Sixo, uh, Sixo Free O Team. And then he f fucking destroyed me. And then. I have I, I have this curse when I beat someone then then he just wrecks me afterwards. So I, I beat in the last tournament Harris Arena I beat Naria free owned and he wrecked me. And today almost the same stuff happened in Seed Story Free. I'm with six wing group, I beat him and then I lose, I get wrecked, and then I almost get wrecked again. I was scared because I played my paladin. I thought I needed for for Druid. I'm scared against his Druid. But it worked out. Just smork. Guys, just smork. Just smork. It's always good. Always smart. Do you think that you can like... Look, uh, Fujitora loves me. I don't have so many haters. Sometimes. Tell production to put mainstream on your feed so you can cast it. Look, he's playing some game. He plays Minesweeper. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> That's not production. That's the admin. He's production's actually he's actually playing his Minesweeper. Production's he's in like, another room. Like, actually, do you want you want to cast the final? He's, it's, he's like, it's, ele it's like, wow, it's 2 a.m. Are you kidding me? He's like, 2 a.m. I'm out. Dude, do you want to cast the remainder of the last match? There's a last match where? Yeah, on the on the A stream, the main stream. Oh, we can do that. Production, is there a way that we can put that on our screens? On our screens? Oh, we, we, oh double cast or what? Yeah, maybe. He's really lazy. I he's like, I don't, I don't think he's like, way. I don't have time. Oh, like, actually, I'm busy. You know what? Yeah, there is. We he's can, playing we can, Minesweeper. I can see it. We can 
restream the mainstream. That, that means we don't have sound, though. Let me just start up the stream. Like, we're gonna, only going to have, like, a couple of years, but who cares, right? It's all for fun. All right. It's all for see. fun. Yeah, we do very serious casting. I'm, I'm serious <laughs> business here. Especially I'm not going to do some fun too. casting. <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty chill. Like sometimes people are very awkward. They try, to, like, they try too hard, and then you notice they try too hard, and then you kind of. Oh, dude, I try hard, man. No, you don't. No, 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 not right now. But like, that's that's because like, like I'm like uh, feeling 